most beautiful tower in all over the world. But you're running back by call now. And if you call now, you will get two for the price of one by call now. <laughs> yeah, so Antigua, Guatemala is a, the most beautiful town all over the world, to my point of view. Yeah, it's a very old town. Uh, it was founded in 1543. And uh, it's a very small square style town. So the main square, east, west, north, and south. It's the largest public building in town. So Antigua was destroyed 12 times by the earthquakes. This is a very tectonic place. Over 30,000 people died in 1976. That was 46 years ago. But in 1773, La Antigua was really destroyed all over. So the Spanish kings decided to move the city from here, the St. James city from here, to Guatemala City, 43 kilometers away. It's the second largest native population and all over Latin America. Mm -hmm. Bolivia mm -hmm. is the number one mm -hmm. with 64%, and the Mayan provinces are the poorest provinces in Guatemala. Mm -hmm. La Antigua is a rich city. It doesn't represent the, the reality of the country. Yeah. So over right here, we have 100 quetzales, a quetzal is flying. In Mexico, they call it Quetzalcoatl, the native people, the Tlaxcaltecas. In Maya, snake is Can. Cancun, uh -huh. in Mexico, is the cave of the snakes. Cancun. Right there you see the seashells St. James again, with the two swords. On the second floor are still the offices of the mayor of the town. So the government declared a cemetery, a national cemetery, small, small region. Local people in this house could see the four streets, but it was happening outside, all gossips and everything. Remember that before they hadn't any WhatsApp or Messenger or Netflix, <laughs> nothing like that. It's a lion's house. But can you see something special in these lions? Look at the face. Yeah. Yeah. Or, or a monkey. Or uh, yes, exactly. It's a mixture of the uh, two cultures. Uh, Lion represent the power and uh, authority of the Spanish uh, yeah. army. And the monkey, the monkey is one important symbol of the Mayan uh, religious calendar. Jaguar in, uh, in Maya is uh, Ish. My I X. Your animal. You're not what? Your guardian angel. A bunny? Rabbit. Aww. Yeah, bunny. <laughs> I'm so cute. <laughs> you are. <laughs> uh, only two seasons. Dry season from, from uh, November to April. And six months from May to October. Six months and six months rain season. The Roman numbers. And we had originally four blocks on four sides. And then we have a little bundle of the ceramic line. I have a, a friend of mine from London that he rents a big house next to the city hall. This is a big house and he's paying $12,000 per month just for rent. But he has four bars inside. The bars and restaurants, coffee shops are very good business in Antigua uh, because they, because in the weekends we had a lot of people from Guatemala City. It's gordita, but it's not so gordita, rellenita. <laughs> <laughs> and really, really fat? <laughs> Gordota. <laughs> Some houses there are Spanish symbols like this. Symbols. The name of this valley in Maya is Panchoy. Panchoy in Maya Calchique language means the large lagoon. Normally Mayas are coming to La Antigua just for, for selling some products. Uh, they come in for business, but they never live here. It's too expensive for Mayas. <laughs> Two Saturdays ago, we had 12 weddings in town. We consider Antigua as a very romantic city to get married. The, the new mayor of the town is working really, really well, and he's working with other organizations. So everything is working really well in Antigua. It's very safe. Yes, it is. I saw, we have this uh, monument over here in honor to Fray Bartolomé de las Casas. He was a friar, a Dominican friar. He was a very good friend of the Spanish kings. So he was all the time defending the Mayas because the Spanish soldiers were killing them. So I always say, a convent always had a church, but a church not necessarily had a convent. So 17 convents and 30, 37 churches. And white. And, uh, Look at all around you. Yeah. Yellow, 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 red, yellow, yeah. yellow, Orange, red, yeah. yellow. 
Yeah. yeah, mostly of them. Yeah. But some some other houses they changed uh, the color before okay. in 1979 when Antigua was declared patrimony of the humankind. The jails were moved to Guatemala City. We don't have jails in Antigua anymore. All the garbage is going to Guatemala City. Yeah. Because Guatemala City is a garbage city. We call it Guatemala City. <laughs> yeah, I don't recommend it. No, I don't go there. No, I, don't I never go there. I go to the airport because I have to go to the airport. If you really want to try some uh, Guatemala typical food. <laughs> It was the last convent. They made in Latino. In 1736, they came here. And 36 years later, Latino was abandoned. So they built such a big building to be abandoned 36 years later. Is that still one house? It's a one full house, one full block house, the 1000 flowers house. It's a very rich family house. Natural monument is a laundry place or a washing, okay. washing place. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And nobody's coming anymore, but it was a very important place in the past for women. Meanwhile, they were talking about business, families, men. <laughs> <laughs> and then where did they dry it? And they were taken in the baskets. Back, and dry it at home. home. Yeah. University of the United States, they are coming for, as a volunteers mm -hmm. and also they make donations to money or medical equipment. Only 40% of people in Guatemala has uh, insurance. All my relatives, cousins, nephews, my brothers and sisters, all of us, we could get um, in the university a degree. So we, 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 we couldn't study because our, our parents were like uh, pushing us to continue yeah. and it was a tradition of all the families, all my relatives, my uncles and aunts, all of them, they were, I have professors in the university, very intellectual people. I am school teacher, social worker, and professional guide, and also uh, I speak four languages. So, and world traveler. And I, oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. The university. <laughs> All these buildings were abandoned. Nobody was living here in Antigua for 110 years. It was a kind of ghost town. It was illegal after the destruction of 1773. That's the reason why we have still these nice style buildings all over Antigua. Mm -hmm. With the nice designs, with the lions, with the St. James of the Knights riding a horse. The coat of arms of North Spain, Castilla, Leon, Leon Castillo, Castilla and Leon, mm -hmm. Spanish crown. So we have this nice design. So this is a building, well, this is a museum that I always recommend.